create a breakthrough for freedom of energy, for steam, healing, and the sensation of the human breath. Welcome to Physic, Free Energy Special Interest Group, the science, myth, spirituality in the quest for truth and knowledge to free humanity and transform this planet into paradise. Thank you. Hi, friends. Welcome to Physique. It's so good to see you. Hi, everyone. Um, hey, Crystal. Hi. Hey, Crystal. Nice to be here. Oh, nice to see you here. Welcome to Physique's 68th meeting. Today is the 11th of September. Oh, I guess you can't hear me very well because I'm not using my headset. I'm going to do it right now. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me for a moment. Today is the 11th of September, and it's the second Wednesday of the month because we postponed it to today. Because on the uh, you couldn't get things organized fast enough because there had been a lot of things going on, and uh, it's impossible to gather everyone. And you will know later during our second session what we are up to, really. <laughs> and so uh, we have uh, our PowerPoint presentation that I am going to share screen in a moment. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome, everyone, to our 68th Physic meeting. I am going to take this away and use the PowerPoint presentation now. That's it. Yeah. Right. Uh, Physic is a free energy special interest group. And we have been well in uh, doing this initiative since we started in uh, the beginning of uh, 2016 and uh, three years later we've got quite a number of very wonderful brilliant scientists researchers developers and enthusiasts of free energy here gathered on this platform where science meets spirituality because it is a platform where we explore the, the, the furthest frontiers of the possibilities of going further in the um, seeking of truth and knowledge to advance the science and the spirit. So here today for the 68th Physic meeting, we have this agenda here. Uh, I've just introduce a quick introduction of physics to the new members. And um, I am Crystal Gore, who is the founder and initiator of uh, Physic. And we have with uh, us here the executive council members of uh, Physic, as well as the R&D members who are brilliant in what they're doing, perfecting the motor generator that they are developing so we can go out there to teach once it's perfected. So I have uh, my co-chairs here with me, uh, Fred Frezzel, although uh, <laughs> James is supposed to help with the co-chairing as well. I presume he's very busy interviewing the Secret Space Program Super Soldiers right now. So the first session speaker we have here, oh gosh, it's showing my internet connection is unstable, but it's still going and thank goodness that Fred is recording as well. Our first session speaker is Dr. Eli 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 Elia uh, Lakichevik who's talking about building a civilization without wires, cables, and generators, a civilization without electricity. Wow, this is something different for a change. <laughs> and uh, thanks to Tim, Tim Sanders um, has actually brought him into physique to talk about his signs. And t Tim is also going to talk about the, um, the product that Dr. Lucky has come up with. And, and Tim is assisting him in presenting his groundbreaking signs. So the second session is a, a very important one because um, one of us passed on to the other side, unfortunately. The Foundation Group Forum, where its chairman, Martin Berger Demise, left a, uh, a, a legacy. So to continue or not depends on collaborations of all concerns. So that's what we're going to discuss in the second session. And this session is to honor Martin Berger and his vision. All right, and then once we've finished all that, then the meeting will be adjourned to the 69th Physic meeting on the 2nd of October. And do come back to join us to attend the meeting. Well, I see Mike Emery here as well. Hi, Mike. Um, Hi. 
It's wonderful. Can you hear me? Your presentations on the all, all gone bubble tech. Yeah, we can hear you, Mike. Yeah. So, so I mean, I've I've done the agenda now here, and if you want to email me, it's crystal at uh, truevisionofpeace dot com, and our website is truevisionofpeace dot com forward slash physique dot html. Okay, so go there and explore and catch up with updates now and again. So I'm going to stop sharing now. Oh my goodness! Hi, welcome. Hey, it's so good to see you, Alec Ekbaran. It's so good to, 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 I mean, it's been years since I last spoke to you. I actually met you personally. You're from Cash Foundation, aren't you? You're still with Cash, right? Yeah. Welcome to Physics 68 meeting. It's, it's so good to hear uh, you coming in to join us as well. And there's so many who are in, the, 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 and in attendance right now in this meeting. Um, because they're all very excited about what you're going to present, Dr. Lucky, and I am too. And Mike has um, posted, I'm going to share my postings about you uh, and your signs, fine, white as well. And so we have quite a big attendance today. Right, so uh, I am going to introduce Dr. Lucky properly. I am going to tell you about him. Okay, here's his bio. Dr. Ilaiha Lakicevic is a doctor of physics from Serbia who reached the ranks of research professor. He has, in the past 20 years, progressed independently to make all the old concepts in science redundant. He does this through experimental proof of his new knowledge and concepts in science, including the true concept of the atom, the truth about all core scientific concepts and the laws of creation, energy, mass, speed of light, gravity, and electricity, discovery of a new unit of energy, the Deca. Um, it's the Deca Hadron Deca that you were talking to me about, Tim, isn't it? <laughs> and the presence on our planet of a new energy with awareness and its unit, the Deca. It has many unique characteristics and many uses. We can build a civilization without wires, without cables, and without generators. A civilization without electricity. Wow, isn't that amazing? The radar principle and instant communication to replace cell towers? Why microwave radiation harms us? Radiation is a threat to the human race, which we have developed a solution for. The Omnia radiation balancer that Tim would be talking about because he's is marketing that for Dr. Lucky. This is the first working proof of the daycare at work, nuclear waste disposal, using the true concepts of the atom to return nuclear waste to be a fertilizer, the true concept of pi. Dr. Lucky Chevik understands that the entire universe is but one intercommunicating, mind-controlled sense body, each atom of which is being centered by a universal intelligence which created it and is forever controlling it. Once we learn how to work with these principles of creation, we can create revolutionary solutions to human needs that are in harmony with our environment. And, and uh, I can hear some noise in the background. Would you mute yourself, please? Whoever is responsible for that? Tim Sanders, on the other hand, launched the brand Omnia Radiation Balancer in London in 2018 to promote the groundbreaking signs and products of scientists Dr. Lucky has produced. After testing his radiation harmonizing technology and realizing not only did it work 100% effective, but also that Lucky had the knowledge that everyone was missing about why radiation harm us. So that's it, folks. I've just introduced Dr. Lucky and Tim. Now I pass the microphone over to, uh, before I do that, I want to introduce Dr. Fres Rezel is the co-chair for this meeting. Right. Thank you so much. Now I pass over the microphone to you, Dr. Lucky and Tim, whoever wants to speak first. Go on then. Uh, I, I will. I will. So, I am that I am lucky of free and sovereign domain. I am free and sovereign being, 
and my freedom and sovereignty comes from within and from knowing who I am and what I am not. Officially, I'm doctor of physical science, atomic and plasma physics, uh, research professor, I know who I am and I know that I am acting just that. So I am spiritual being as every human being and I am mental being, infinite and eternal being as a creator who created me according to the holographic principles. <clears throat> you can find more about me uh, on my website teslastyle101.com or communicate me, with me through the email teslastyle101 at gmail.com I love Tesla style because that is the immortal style developed by the by the greatest genius all times according to me Nikola Tesla who developed that uh, style, immortal style of creation in seven steps. And I, uh, I have mastered uh, quite good that uh, Tesla style and uh, been applying that in my investigations. Uh, so uh, just, a, just a small background. Uh, uh, when I when I got my uh, my research professor in 1995, I have stra started uh, to investigate uh, investigate uh, plasma four C free co configuration, and five years later I left the official science, and I left all organized and structured institutions and organizations in order to investigate by myself as a free and sovereign being as a free and sovereign uh, researcher. And during that time, I made uh, uh, amazing progress and uh, have discovered that what I did not know and what was making me unhappy, and that is that I did not know who I am. I couldn't agree that I am my physical body. And later I have discovered who I am and what is my relation to my physical body. So. Uh, my logo is here, Salmon, as you see, because it comes always to the source. That is our journey back to the source. And uh, with Bumblebee uh, within it, and Bumblebee, I took a Bumblebee because Bumblebee, according to the official scientific laws of aerodynamics, could not fly because the, the too heavy body and too small surface of the of the wing, wings, but Bumblebee does not know official science, and it flows and simple flies. So that is the the symbolic, and that is my greatest teacher, uh, Walter Russell. I I would suggest all of you to study Walter Russell, and he is immortal what uh, the universal one, atomic suicide and secret of life and the water Russell is the most important incarnation of all times on this planet because he brought the knowledge and only knowledge can make people free. And there are no doubts that Nikola Tesla uh, was uh, the most, uh, how to say, greatest practical genius uh, but uh, Walter brought the knowledge. Tesla did not share the knowledge, but practical devices where the knowledge was built in. in. And I love my, my teacher, Walter Russell, and, and, I, and I suggest all of you to, uh, to study him and you will find amazing things, amazing. When I have decided to go on my own way and investigate it for myself independently, uh, I, I got his this teacher, and that is why I, I have progressed uh, uh, so so uh, enormously in the last uh, 19 years. Uh, the first thing that, that I have discovered: who 
are we human beings? We human beings are mental beings. We are consciousness. We are spiritual beings. And uh, there are so to say uh, soulmates like a uh, uh, we who are who, who who are in the science our passion is a similar soul passion is a discovery science uh, uh, new laws and so on or uh, soulmates in, in 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 politics or soulmates in sport and so on but we are uh, mental beings and we move perception of our body and our physical body, my physical body is electric record of my soul. Of that what I'm thinking is recorded on my physical body and you so see here the gray hair because that is my, uh, my belief system and that, that's why it must not be so, but it is so because of my belief system. Uh, you know all that in quantum physics, uh, there is a huge discovery about the uh, holographic universe and uh, we human beings are also holographic part as the idea of a man in action. So one part idea of one uh, infinite and eternal idea as a holographic part, it is equal to that one idea. So who does not believe that can divide infinity and eternity uh, through many number will get infinity and eternity of divine zero through any number they will get zero so we human beings are uh, equal to the creator and the core teaching you will find on my website my core teaching is i am god also also because every human being is also god as a holographic part of God creator. We human beings create with desire for creative expression. And I can I can show you and you can uh, you can also uh, find as many examples as you wish every your creation every your motion is motivated by your desire. I am holding here in my hand this apple. And without my desire to throw it up in the air, this apple will, will stay here. Everything starts with a desire. Desire is a first step. And uh, our purpose, why we are incarnating here in, in, in physical body on this planet is to learn to multiply God awareness in us until our purpose becomes God purpose and we become creators like God. In the simple words, we are learning here to become God and to create our own universes when we reach that final uh, destination. And that is why, that is why there is good in everything. And uh, when we succeed to find out that good we can turn uh, every negative preceptor in good uh, like tesla uh, did uh, with his pumps and turbines i don't know if it, if you are familiar with that that in aerodynamic there is a so called shear effect one very thin layer of the air near to the flying uh, airplane for example which prevents that airplane to fly much faster and to consume uh, some 40% less fuel. And Tesla found the way how to turn that negative precept, that shear effect into pumps and turbines. And I have now also an idea how we can turn that negative 5G life killing uh, precept, like killing radiation into good into good of course with knowledge everything is possible uh, i'd like now to explain what is energy because it's uh, about energy I, I know you have in audience uh, many scientists working on a free energy devices and so on but uh, 
energy concept in the science is not uh, proper, is not good, is not right. Energy is stillness of the universe at rest, is in neutral position waiting a uh, human desire to give it form and transform it into electric potential. So energy is absolute neutral and waiting for us to create with it for us human beings. And we uh, actually initiate energy and with our desire and give it form, give it to spire. We inspire energy and everything in the universe is spiraling. There are compressing and expanding spirals and that is all. And the versal point between compressing and expanding uh, spirals. So the, in the old uh, energy, after the fall of the Atlantis, we have decided to punish ourselves and have decided to, for the, for the uh, hard way of creation, complicated, inefficient, and expensive, uh, with creation with power, force, fear, and efforting. And that is why this easy, disease, disease, hard. And that is, when we were the slaves of the energy. And that is the creation with electricity also, because, uh, okay, we have decided to, to experience it because everything what we are doing here, we are experiencing something. It is our experience. And we are always that beautiful soul, infinite, eternal being, who is moving perception of something in order to experience something to expand and evolve. And then uh, on August 17th, 1987, uh, there was enough human beings on this planet who decided uh, for love, for peace, for freedom, for harmony, no more wars and no more fear, no more power, no more efforting, 144,000 there were at that time. And that is the first time in the history of the mankind on this planet that we have ended one cycle without destruction. So we can enter it into the new cycle. That is the day when the old cycle of, of 26,000 years ended. And the new cycle began on August 17th, 1987. That is absolutely the most important data in the history of the mankind on this planet. And every time, every year, in this August 17th, I am uh, I am congratulating Happy New Year uh, to the other people because that's the beginning of the new year. That is the end of the of the millennia, beginning of the new millennia, not 2000. That we because we, we have we have some uh, some error in the calculation, but it does matter. So uh, and we have decided uh, to change our attitude to energy and to create easy, simple, efficient, and cheap, opposite of the old way, and create with joy, with freedom, power, intensity of our desire, simplicity, so the new energy way. And that is new paradigm, that is changing in the paradigm. All ways, old ways are no more working, they are less and less efficient every day, if many people are frustrated about it, do not know why, and that is so depression everywhere on the planet. It is simple, and the answer is very simple. Decide for the new way, and you will see how it works. So, as a scientist, <clears throat> uh, I could not agree with many scientific concepts. First of all, in my humble opinion, negative charge is uh, illogical. Is uh, nothing can be charged negatively in the English language. To charge uh, means to increase, add to. How one can add to by subtraction? That is what negative charge would mean. So uh, that concept of negative charge particles is absolutely wrong. Wrong. And from the other side, also, 
there, there is no logic in some other laws like opposite attract each other. Our logic says us opposites, opposites are opposing to each other. That's why we are calling them opposite. And they cannot attract each other. They oppose to each other. So and my, my challenge was the first to find out why these laws in the official science are, are uh, always upside down of that what is true. And I have uh, uh, found out uh, the, the, the right explanation. It is because uh, science in science knowledge is defined as, uh, as uh, empirical based on observation and, and uh, empirical. And, uh, and our senses are deceiving us. They are uh, delivering us upside down, inverted uh, picture of the, of the truth. And everything that is based on that is upside down. And that's why in our science, all the laws are upside down of the truth. For example, that law, famous law, you know, that opposite attract each other, take it uh, upside down. Turn it upside down once again, you get the right law, same attract each other. Same attract each other. That is one of the universal, of the, of the, of the basic universal laws, not opposite attract each other. And I can explain you, if you wish also, why these poles of the magnet or the bar magnets attract each other and they are not opposite. The, the same in them is high electric potential. Every bar magnet is electric bar because there are electric vortexes at the ends of the magnet. And that what is magnetic is a steel point in the center. Everything what is magnetic is steel, motionless, is a source of energy, and everything what is electric, it is motion. So even that... Uh, famous electromagnetic radiation, electric radiation, because the magnetic does not move. There are no, no, many, many things uh, in the science, almost all things are uh, wrong interpreted, with wrong concept, but science is able to do marvelous things with experiments and to reach enormous results without knowing right explanation. Imagine now, we share with the science, official science, right concept. You will see there will be billions of discoveries every day, everywhere in the world with the right concept. It's much easier to, to, to create. So uh, our senses are deceiving us. And here are some examples. Illusion of the railroad tracks meeting up on the horizon. We know that is an illusion and, and uh, landscape. Uh, uh, rushing in the in the opposite way of the move, movement of the train, we, we have seen experience it many times, and many other other illusions. I don't like to talk much about it. There is a book I wrote a book, uh, God in the Atom, and it is on my website, and these things are explained there in details. But I would love to share with you that truly our senses are deceiving us. Look here, I have here an apple and I rotate that apple from me to you. One direction of rotation is clear. If I have had one person from this side, from the right side, looking here, uh, he Dr. or she... Dr. Lackey. If you yes. stop sharing screen, we can see what you're doing with your hands. <laughs> I, I have here an apple. Yeah, but you got to stop sharing screen so we can see you demonstrating. Truly? Yeah, you got to stop sharing the screen so I can we can see you. Unless, and then you can start sharing again once you finish demonstrating with your hands. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. I understand, I understand. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, now, now you, see, you see that. Okay, thank you. Thank you, I, I, I made that mistake. Now you see what I'm uh, trying to explain, deception of our senses in a simple way. I have an apple and I rotate that apple from me to you. So that is one direction of rotation. 
So if I get now one person here from the right side, my right side, looking at it, it would see from the left to the right, that is defined as a clockwise. But the person looking from this side would see from right to the left, counterclockwise. How it is possible? It is one direction of rotation. It is one direction of the rotation. If I would look from this side, I would see clockwise and from this side, counterclockwise. But it's one direction of rotation. Our senses are dual and they, uh, they produce dual effects. And we as human beings must come to that awareness of the deception of our senses and make that quantum leap in consciousness from the electric awareness of our senses into quantum consciousness of our mind to know the truth. In other words, we must make uh, the spring between from the, uh, from the information to knowledge. That's what our senses are delivering to us is information. But information is opposite of the knowledge. So, in order to get knowledge, we should turn upside down that what our senses are delivering to us. So now I will continue sharing. Ah, okay. Uh, you see, you see now the screen, yeah? Yes, we do. Okay. Okay. Oh, for example, uh, an, another more example of the of the uh, deception of the human senses. If you had a pencil, you go and uh, draw that line ever closer to the, to the center and without changing direction, you go back and you see it looks like two opposite directions. I came in here on the right, on the left, two opposite directions, but it is one direction. I did not change direction. And it is, it is everything explained in detail in my book. I'm not going to talk too much about it now. But uh, I'm ready to, 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 to share and uh, discuss and everything else. Okay. Uh, I found one amazing thing DuPont Company in Chicago some 30 years ago photographed a tungsten atom multiplied 2,700,000 times. And what is seen here on this picture is a obviously hexagonal structure. But I'm not going to talk about this. I'm now focused on the very center where according to the official atom model must be protons and neutrons, like spheres, like balls, as they say positive charge. So I magnify that and you see here on the left side, there are no protons and neutrons there. No spheres, no ball, balls, no positive charge and negative particles in the, in the, in the uh, center of the atom, in the nucleus. You can see here. And then I worked in laboratory for many years with gas discharges. And there are some theory that there is some theory explaining uh, gas discharge phenomena. Uh, most of you are physicists understand it. But look at this, that are all light rings spinning, each line ring spinning around its gravity center and moving from the left cathode to the right to the anode. That are not electrons as a ball. Obviously, we see light rings. If you still suspect it, go on, on internet and find some videos and you will see how it looks like. And there is one other phenomenon, uh, the so-called sickle cells, red blood cells, erythrocytes, are light rings by the healthy person. You see, by the healthy blood, they are all light rings with a black hole in the middle, in the center. If the person is deceased, those light rings look like a sickle uh, that structure is totally destroyed. 
totally destroyed. But uh, pay attention to the left side. Light rings, red blood cells. Very good. And uh, I, I also some other uh, supporting me some other discoveries that electric potential in the interior of the of the cell is increasing, going going outward. And the electric current is not moving through the wire, but around the wire. That is all the cells in, also in the in the official science. Uh, as a scientist, I could never imagine electron as a negative charge particle going through the wire from here to America and back. I laugh about it. That was impossible. And then I made one simple experiment in order to emulate the living cell. I took uh, the steel water and put uh, uh, sodium chloride in it because I knew that sodium chloride is a balanced entity so that I will have balanced light rings inside. And I looked at the uh, and placed here one copper ring, copper ring at the bottom, and then placed one, uh, two electrodes with very uh, with bar electrodes uh, with a small distance here, 100, 200 micrometer, and then measured electric potential in the center. I found zero electric potential. What means that that point in the center is absolutely still and balanced, no resistance, zero electric potential. And then I measured the imposition uh, ra radially one, two, three, four on a half distance to the ring and found everywhere the same electric potential, 048 volt. And on, on the ring itself, on, on this, this uh, point also, five, six, seven, eight, I found the same electric potential, but high, 0.84. And then I have analyzed these results and uh, have drawn a uh, conclusion that atom, cell, and particle are consisting of the light rings spinning around center in my point, which is the source of energy, from which that motion, spinning, rotate, rotation, is borrowing energy in order to move, to spin, to rotate. And that centering point is the creator, is a spirit, is a source. You can call it as you wish, but I gave that uh, uh, the, the name of that uh, atom model, atom, A-T-O-N, because that is the concept of the god atom, of the model who made all atoms in the universe is centering every atom in the universe. Uh, it is his creation. And who suspects it? Look here what NASA recorded somewhere in the universe. Can you see clearly light rings here on a big scale in little in perspective? Of course. And then <clears throat> uh, uh, I, I have analyzed the, the famous Einstein's equation, E equal m zero c square over square root one plus V over c to square. And uh, he is, because based on that uh, Big Bang model, Big Bang model, uh, expanding, expanding universe, that equation is meant to be for the expansion or the radiation, because there is no compression according to the official science. Everyone who believes in that concept denies compression, only radiation. And he wrote that equation for the radiation, but it turned out that is for the compression. And I wrote my equation here on the right side. You can see uh, C plus minus C squared, over that, uh, that square root. And C plus minus is a borrowed and depaid time space. And that is something new and that's not easy to understand. And uh, there will be a lot to talk, a lot to talk about this equation. And my, my, my expectation and that, that is beginning of the physics of the next uh, few hundred years. C 
is a not speed of light. C is a speed in which consciousness moves perception. Speed in which consciousness reproduces in reverse its own perception of action, the action, expansion, compression, sequence in the adjustment wave field. And that is what C is. C is speed of perception, not speed of light. Why it is uh, uh, C? Because in the word speed of light, nowhere you can see, find nowhere C. But it is denoted with C. That is, remembers consciousness, C. Okay, this is supreme proof. Everybody who suspects that that uh, we are mental beings, we are consciousness, we are moving perception of our physical body, can find on internet uh, this uh, ascended master Mir in Dio, who lived uh, uh, in Amsterdam, in Holland, and look at him with sword through his body, even th through his heart, and nothing happened. And he went, uh, went to Swiss, uh, to the polyclinic, and make Rentgen. A recording and they saw that that sword in his body. This guy knew that his body is his perception and that then when he decides nothing will happen. He demonstrated it by, by beautiful, beautiful example. I love, I love this, this, uh, this brother. Every, he, all human beings are brothers and sisters because we have one father God, the same one father God. So, uh, I did not like uh, creation with the electric car, and in my opinion, uh, the Tesla genius killed that discipline, uh, electric car, because he invented everything what is almost possible with electric car. He invented also free energy devices, but that is hidden from, uh, from us people. Uh, that's why you are now, many of you are trying to reinvent it. Uh, I, 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 decided, I have decided to create with a new energy. That energy that I told you about that support us in this new era of freedom, of love, of peace, of harmony. And that is energy of love. And uh, creation with that energy uh, is a simple because <coughs> that is conscious energy and it falls to human consciousness. And since I have worked uh, in, uh, in a laboratory on a fusion machines with very, very high radiation, and so I have decided to find the protection from the microwave radiation to balance that radiation. I understood what is radiation uh, according to that uh, right atom model. There is compression and expansion sequence. That expansion sequence is radiation. Everything in the universe in, is compressing and expanding from the smallest atom to the whole universe. And the only difference is it just in volume. Small atom is compressing and expanding a billion times in a second, whereas universe needs billions of years for one, Compression expansion sequence. So, uh, the new conscious energy knows what I am telling her and is doing that for me. In order to reach that state of forgetfulness of my body, I've been practicing conscious breathing and forgetting my body. In that state, I connect with spirit, which is centering every expanding uh, light ring, which is microwave radiation and ask the spirit to bring that radiation into balance. So I understood, I understood according to that concept that the light ring is balanced if that centering point is in the geometric center. If that centering point is out of geometric center, then the light ring then spins around two centers instead of one, and that radiation is imbalanced. And now I will give uh, give a, a word to Tim to explain uh, something to you about omnia radiation balance. Uh, 
Tim. Great, yeah. So sorry, I was just unmuting myself. Yeah, so hi everyone. And uh, hang on, Tim, do you want to stop the screen share or is it Dr. Lucky? Uh, now he'll just screen share on my behalf, I think that might be easier. Um, so yeah, I, I met Lucky in um, uh, South Africa at a conference that was held by Michael Tellinger and I watched his presentation all about the themes that he's covered today and all about what the DECA is capable of, the dodecahedron um, geometric shape with the, the spirals inside the tw six pairs of spirals which never runs out as, a, as an energetic unit. Um, and which also can be cr programmed by conscious human intent, which is, you know, fascinating. Um, and he mentioned in that talk that he had the solution for all of the radiation problems in the world. And I already knew that that was a big thing, you know, because I'd, I'd been to presentations before where people had shown how radiation uh, affects the human body and how the human body um, develops Rouleau syndrome or, uh, you know, a version of the sickle cells that we've seen earlier on. Um, and also how through kinesiology, it goes weak and things like that. So I took his product and I came home uh, to the UK and I tested it in the ways that I knew and I knew that it worked very, very well. So I set up a brand around that and then I got to know Lackey um, better and better. And I realized that his approach to understanding the atom, therefore creation, therefore the laws of the creator, and how everything um, spins and behaves and what energy really is, I realized that that was important information. So I just wanted to take a very quick um, you know, glance at how we know that the DECA works because that is what we have in the Omnia Radiation Balancer, which is a product that I sell. Uh, you have a little patch, it looks a bit like this, um, although the new one looks a bit like this because it's got my brand on it. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but you stick it onto your phone, your Wi-Fi, your laptop, and it harmonizes all of the radiation fields. Um, now, the reason why we're showing you this is not to sell the product. It's to show that it actually works uh, because it's an example of the DECA in action. Um, and just to be really clear on how that works, we're going to take you through that now. Um, Microwave radiation causes serious disease. Uh, there have been 10,000 studies on rats which show that, um, you know, they've developed everything from cancer to endocrine damage to DNA strand breaks to diabetes, infertility, everything, because it affects us on a vibrational level. Um, it unbalances our cells. It takes the zero point in the middle of our cells, you know, away from the center. And that is the cause or the start of dis-ease in the body. Um, so because Omnia knows why the microwave radiation field is imbalanced because of the position of the zero point within that radiation field, and because we know why this causes disease in the human cell, and that's because of the law of resonance, the fact that we are electrical antennae ourselves, and then we walk into this electrified imbalanced field, and we start to pick up that imbalance from the electric field. And then our cells become imbalanced too. And because we know how to balance that radiation field using conscious human intent, and we've also learned how to program the DECA with this intent and actively and permanently bring the zero point of this, of this radiation field back to a centeredness so that it will no longer upset the human cell, and because the Omnia radiation balancer is stuck to the radiating device and therefore is in physical contact with that radiating device, therefore becomes part of the radiating device, then we know that we can bring the radiation field back to balance. Um, and this is how we prove that it works with 100% effectiveness. Uh, on the left, this is my blood. Um, on the left hand side, just, just, just two shots, but we've done a video with, with two or three minutes of each sample where you can really see the difference. But on the left is a sample that I took uh, where I turned everything off overnight and normal blood, you can see again, the torus shape of that, um, that the donut shape of each blood cell. Now in this uh, picture, you've got black is white and white is black. So the whiteness in the center of the donut is actually the dark, empty space. 
and in the middle of that donut is that zero point field which is holding a uh, donut in a good donut shape right and that denotes health balance as the creator intended it and then on the second sample you can see in the middle that's after I watched 20 minutes of video on a mobile phone right just 20 minutes and all of my blood developed what I understand is called Rouleau syndrome um, potentially sickle cell syndrome as well but ultimately it's adherence all of the blood cells lose their shape uh, a little bit like what Lackey was saying earlier on they are now the zero point is now spinning around two centers not one um, so the cells have lost their shape they've lost lost their vibrational their, their balance um, and then on the right hand side you can see that I put the omnia radiation balancer on a phone and watched another 20 minutes immediately after the sample that um, that I had uh, in sample two and it went back to normal straight away so we know from one this one experiment and we've done other experiments that will come to that that balancing effect which was brought about by the DECA technology being programmed by conscious human intent and then put into the uh, the sticker that then has an impact on that radiation field that then has an impact on your body this is the result of that so this is just really a proof to show that, that the DECA technology has worked in one instance and the more important um, test that we've done is on uh, using Dr. Emoto's uh, liquid crystal photography um, where you can see that the water we took three samples one was the baseline and then one we exposed to a radiating phone for five minutes and then that came across as all chaotic in structure sorry this presentation has gone out of shape but uh, the, the one at the top the, the um, images at the top show that the water was chaotic in structure and then we put the Omnia radiation balancer with the DECA technology in it, um, balanced the radiation and did the same experiment, holding it against water. And it came back with perfect crystals, which denotes, again, denotes balance, centeredness of zero point. And therefore, um, we are turning the phone effectively into a, uh, something that's good for you, uh, good for the 70% plus of water in your body. Um, so those are two of the experiments that we've done. There are more. Uh, every kinesiology test that I do shows everyone goes very, very strong when they have the patch on and very weak when they're, you know, struggling to, to, um, to fend off all of this imbalance that comes through from radiation fields. And the next product we're going to look at is a water bottle where we put a sticker with the decker on it and then all of the water inside that water bottle becomes structured. Um, so these are all things that I believe that FESIG is, is also looking at with structure of water being, you know, core to, to health and vibrational well-being on the planet. Um, and that's it, really. I just wanted to use that as, a, a, as an example to, to introduce myself, to also say how, you know, why I, I brought Lackey into this conversation with you at, at FESIG, because, you know, I felt that he has something very important to, to talk about in terms of the way that we can then use uh, the DECA because the next product that we're very excited about is to use the DECA technology bear in mind that we've already shown that we've had an impact on a radiation field we've had an impact on water and the next thing we want to prove is that we can use the DECA to have an impact on air so we're going to build an air conditioning unit which requires no electricity no battery and it's because of Lackey's understanding of the true concept of the atom and the understanding of the pressure conditions that, that create temperature in an air particle or an air molecule um, that we are able to use the DECA to, to pass the instructions to the air in a room to then alter its state uh, and keep it of a certain temperature, whether it's minus two outside or plus 35. Um, so that's something that's in development, and we really hope that that will show everyone the enormous capability of DECA technology. Um, but so far, the proof that we have is in our radiation ba balancer patch. Back to you, Lackey. Okay, thank you, Tim. That was wonderful. Thank you. I, I would like uh, to share something about uh, that uh, one that the new energy with the uh, consciousness, new conscious energy. 
and it's unique uh, unit uh, dodeca or deca with nickname i prefer deca nickname or dodeca it is a uh, uh, shape of uh, dodecahedron 12 sided pentagon with uh, six pairs of spirals spiraling in and out uh, and in the middle is at zero point so that that unit is absolutely balanced in itself is conscious is conscious and responds to human consciousness so in other words why this uh, patch uh, omnia radiation balancer works is because the deca is fulfilling my conscious intent so that is all what is in that patch and it works so uh, my expectation is that everything can be created without electricity like uh, the, this uh, um, uh, radiation balancer because only two things company are producing and selling light and heat so both light and heat can be created without electricity and that is my dream to create without electricity to start uh, something crazy amazing something new uh, why not life is adventure we are uh, we are uh, infinite eternal beings we are playing here and uh, learning something why not create with uh, with uh, without electricity and uh, i've been studying uh, uh, new energy with the uh, new conscious energy <coughs> for let's say now more than 15 years and uh, I have realized uh, uh, the loads, how this energy works and why it works as it works and how to, to instruct this new energy to do something for me. And uh, this new energy can create uh, a lot of different shapes like uh, conglomerates, like uh, strings, like uh, uh, rings, uh, like... Uh, Cobra shape that you see here uh, on the uh, bottom left, uh, or uh, pointed dodeca, uh, which is enormous, enormously uh, powerful tool, or stellated dodeca, or different kinds of, of shapes. And on the right here, you see that um, model of the deca generator uh, with the many magnets here. Uh, on the entrance because uh, uh, DECA is attracted by magnets. Because DECA is a very playful and likes, uh, likes motion. Whenever, whenever uh, uh, there, is a, there is a fast motion, DECA is immediately attached to it and, and tries to balance it, like uh, by rain. After the rain, you have full DECA units everywhere around because they, they will be immediately attached to the drops of rain and and come back come down the, with, with, with the rain and so <clears throat> i mean i've been uh, experimenting uh, these uh, days uh, these months um, we'll we'll try uh, that what the team has described to build a, a temperature control unit without electricity so i now i now stop sharing and show you here uh, that model uh how you see magnets at the top and th these are special geometrical shapes and uh, special uh, uh, dimensions also i build uh, with the uh, with the right pi value value the right pi value is not is not that what is uh, in official science believe 3.142 it is square root of 10 3.162 and that is huge difference because the pi value is a portal between physical and non-physical. And if you wish to build into your creation uh, divine energy, so to say, then use that the right value of pi number. By the way, with that pi number, I can solve the problem of squaring the circle. That is not solved uh, until now anywhere in the in the world. So so that's my my also my invention and also i'm experimenting if you see here pointed deca very strong uh, shape uh, which can emit uh, pulse 
conscious beams which can penetrate everything and come to the every point in the universe. So, uh, uh, <coughs> uh, life is an adventure. And why not playing with the unlimited potentials? In my opinion, in my opinion, it is much more uh, challenging to start with something new than uh, to, how to say, to, to create with that what is already known, electricity. So that is my, my, my passion, that is my, my dream to start, uh, to start uh, civilization without electricity. And uh, I invite all of you who are ready to join me in this uh, huge adventure. I promise only one thing to all of you that you will never forget because there are such crazy amazing things uh, that, that are possible that is instant communication instant manifestation instant transportation and so on and so forth and you know what it means and that is and so it is <coughs> love and joy i am lucky so i hope 45 minutes is okay now, man. Yes, thank you. You can stop sharing now, Dr. Leffy. Yes, that, yeah, that of course, of course, of course. to one hour of your presentation. Okay. And thank you so much. That is so wonderful. You sharing your signs, which is so unique and different. <laughs> well, because this is what physics is about, anyways, encouraging signs to meet spirit on this platform. So over to you, co chair, press. Do you want to invite questions and answers session? Well, I will uh, thank Dr. Lackey for his presentation. And uh, one of the things that popped into my Tim, thank yes, you for bringing Dr. Lackey and uh, your presentation. Superb. Thank you. Over it's to a you. pleasure. Yeah, thank you for having us on. Yeah, thank you. Go on, Fred. Sorry to interrupt you. No problem. Okay, I was wondering maybe my mic wasn't working very well. Uh, one of the things that I was impressed about what you were talking is the uh, expansion contraction and then the imprinting of the water. And what comes to mind Im immediately is the work of Victor Schauberger and uh, his work both in the implosion engines, uh, the structure of water, and etc. And we know that uh, a lot of the work that's been done even recently on imprinting on water and then freezing it, and this goes to several of my colleagues that, are, that have dived in from, from some of the other com uh, organizations uh, we've experimented with. And so this is quite interesting. Uh, your comments about uh, your work in alignment uh, with Schauberger, Dr. Lockheed. Uh Yes, uh, Schaumberger is uh, is a great, great, great teacher, and he understood uh, many of these laws and applied uh, them in in his creations. So uh, the basic is following: understand first of all that the creation is mental process. The whole material universe is in imagine effect. Imagine. It is not real at all. It appears real to our senses, to our dual, and we perceive the forward movement in time, not the backward movement in time, which voids that forward movement in time, so that nothing except creator, that internal universe that rests, God or spirit or soul, call it however you wish, but that is the only reality that exists. So. Creation is a mental process, is a mental game, is not real, is real for our senses. When we understand it, we can then expand and evolve as a being. So how goes uh, that creation? Always that uh, principle of creation is uh, so simple. We occupy huge volume of space and compress it by compressing fire into the small volume of matter and then expand that small volume of matter 
back into that huge volume of space. And that is the universal frequency. That is the universal principle of creation. And there is no other. The difference between small atom and the big universe is the only in volume. That is the secret of the creation. And nothing more. Between compression and expansion, there is the reversal point. There is the reversal point, and that is zero point. So that the creation is journey from zero through zero back to zero. And there is that uh, so famous voidance principle. Every action reaction is voided when it is repeated, is repeating when it is voiding, and it is recording when it is repeating. And so that everything what has ever ever has happened is eternally repeating and we will be able also to build devices and to watch like in, in the history something or in the practical life uh, it is there recorded and there is a one <laughs> there is a one uh, uh, big challenge understanding that everything begins as a thought pattern seed that is thought pattern is a seed. How could I record my thought, which would refer to my ideal uh, uh, body health and uh, possible rejuvenation and uh, stop aging and so on, and then project it on my body and reach that goal. And that is also possible, understanding that everything begins as a pattern, two-dimensional pattern, thought pattern, and recording that pattern in the vacuum, in the vacuum, and projecting on it on my body, for example, and that is also one of my challenges. I would love to, as soon as I as I get uh, my tube, I to be a tube, I will test that technology. So understand that simple process of creation in everything, and that reversal point, that is the point which is in the center of the DECA unit. And that point responds to your consciousness. When you forget physical body and connect to spirit and go and talk to that point, talk to that point, it will do for you whatever you request. Whatever. So don't doubt it. Try it. And in my opinion, in my opinion, uh, the the important thing is now that changing attitude to the energy. Now you are becoming, I am becoming, we are becoming boss of the energy, commander of the energy. And energy is serving us. And that is huge. There are no, no limits. There are no limits. Truly. Well, great. I'm going to open the floor for one question because we've run out of time. And I'm really pleased with your response to my question. That was... That was a nice kickoff there. Uh, real quick, do we have somebody with a, a question for Dr. Lackey? Perhaps ask quantum physics, Mike. Uh, Mike Emery, uh, you want to step in? I think we caught him off guard. <laughs> By, I've been muted by uh, whoever the host oh. is. Okay. Yes, Mike. Do you have a question for Dr. Lackey? Lucky. Oh, no, not at all. Well, it, they, well it, I would hope that he's aware of the ANU, A-N-U, the first name of God in the bad boy, the Sumerian text of Vedas, because that is what he's talking about. The Senate that's doing everything, exactly what he's talking about. Um, it's a repository of consciousness, ANU. Two male forms of God in it. It also explains all the Schauberger stuff when you understand the end of it. Super. Uh, any comments, uh, Dr. Lackey? <laughs> uh, I, I would like, I would like uh, okay, to comment in my way. Because I know many of you are uh, trying to develop free energy devices. In my opinion, it is... Uh, of the most importance to understand that octave uh, principle of multiplication uh, with which God 
multiplies cold into the heat of the sun. Understand? So uh, run that through I, one more time. let's run that through one more time. Repeat that last sentence. It's very important. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. The process of creation is always multiplication of the cold, heating of the whole cold, cold space, cold space into the hot matter. And multiplication is 4096 times. 4096 times. And now imagine you understand that octave principle of multiplication. You will find by both of us. And now you build the lenses, just four lenses, with which you can multiply input 4,096 times. Why don't you take then, if you want to, be, uh, to build with electricity, uh, with electric current, why don't you take uh, uh, arc welding uh, artificial sunlight and multiply it 4,096 times? and can create any pressure, even more than the nuclear power plant. Create more ele electric power than, than there, without any danger in a so simple way, so cheap and so efficient. Super. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 Crystal, and, I'm gonna bring you back in and uh, let you wrap this up. Uh, yeah, we press for I, time today. I actually wanted to ask uh, Dr. Lackey if he would help us with our R&D team because our team is uh, coming up with a free energy uh, motor generator uh, development. So if uh, Dr. Lackey, if you do have some time to spare, can we invite you to join us on our Monday meetings to help us <laughs> get in a better development of our devices you are you are all 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 my brothers and sisters and i love you as i love myself of course i will share with you everything oh thank you so much pontus can you get in touch with dr lucky pontus and uh, uh fres dr fres fres so the two of them are actually hating the uh r d sessions on monday <laughs> would you um uh, i will give you yeah dr lucky with love and joy, with love and joy. Can, oh, can I also add that um, it's kind of important, I mean, from my point of view, uh, I see it as important that we try and share Lackey's knowledge of how to communicate with that, you know, that DECA point uh, to start to create solutions ourselves, because we can't rely on Lackey to, to build everything in the new, you know, universe of, uh, of, of free energy or, or, or graceful, abundant energy. We, we've got to try and think of ways to, to you know, disseminate this training and, uh, and train people up to, to take ownership of this themselves as well. well no, no. Here, a team, we have a mixture of, uh, as, as I have explained, uh, physique, the Free Energy Special Interest Group is a platform where we have technology, scientists, researchers, uh, enthusiasts of free energy, uh, developers of free energy gathered together to exchange uh, ideas or, or right. solutions or you know share knowledge so as dr lucky says happily he will embrace all of us as, because we are his brothers and sisters anyway sure. yeah so, i just wanted to make sure it wasn't just him helping the other guys no 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 of course not we have yeah. we have larry woods there as well larry has got his own whole string of invention himself and he's with us like every monday <laughs> thank you larry and we, and we have thomas we've got we've got so many renowned uh, inventors here with us <laughs> really amazing i'm sure dr lucky would be so delighted to be in the group as well of course, of course. It's oh it's the perfect it's the perfect forum yeah fantastic thank you so much <laughs> of course of course my yeah. pleasure <laughs> right thank you so much so i i guess um we will send you an invitation to join us on Monday. Team, if that's all right, yeah, you, you can join in as well if you I like. I don't know how much help I'm going to be, but uh, I'm happy to sit in on it, yeah, for sure. But, I, you know, oh. my, my meager scientific skills probably, you know, not oh. going to add much, but, you know, I, I enjoy listening to all of this. So, um, it, yeah, why not? It doesn't mean that we're going to tie you down every Monday. I mean, you come and go, you know, as and when you wish to. Yeah, thank you sure. so much, well, Tim. I'll try not and, to bore 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I wouldn't be here if it had bored me already. So, um, yeah, so uh, there must be some part of me that's scientific. And, and maybe, you know, I rejected all the principles that I saw in all the physics books when I was at school because intuitively I saw that, saw that it weren't quite right. But who knows? But, yeah, this, this side of things really excites me. So happy to help in any way. Yeah, we, we have, we have very, very good members. Mike, the quantum physicist, one of the most brilliant on the planet, also joins in the Monday meetings now and again as well, you know. So, so all are welcome. I mean, we have, we have amazing, brilliant people on the Monday team, thanks to Pontus who puts it all together with Fresh. And, uh, uh, well, most of them are here anyway tonight. <laughs> right, so. It will be my honor, my honor <laughs> to join the team. Oh, thank you, yes, Pontus. Please. Would you show yourself, please, Pontus? Yes, please. Uh, join us uh, on Monday, eight o'clock. Thank yes. you, Dr. Lackey. Uh, yes. oh, we are a happy party here. We're, we're one big family. <laughs> thank well, you, Dr. Lackey. Well. Okay. You are welcome. You are welcome. So, there being no other business now, this meeting, the first session of the 68th Physic meeting, held on the 11th of September, on the second Wednesday for a change, I mean, uh, it's a one-off, right? Every time our physics meeting is held on the first Wednesday. So, and now this meeting is now adjourned to the second session of the 68th meeting. And I would like to thank you, everyone present, and your energy is superb. It's so wonderful to listen to uh, Dr. Lackey, who is so amazing with his signs. And thank you all for attending and giving support. Thank you, Tim. Sanders for bringing pleasure. Up. Thank you. Namaste. I thank you for your invitation, for your time. Yeah, <laughs> thank you for your time. <laughs> Namaste. Thank you. Okay. All right. So we Good. can.